what showed up on the front steps of two Dallas homes. This residence has been identified as a nuisance noise property. Was as unlikely as it was unwelcome. This designation has been assessed as a result of numerous 911 complaints. A city letter taped to their front door. Christina Bristow even has video of the officer delivering it. It was a little unnerving is a good word for it. Several blocks away, so did Patricia and Ketchum. No one got one but me I'm in this area. That letter starts by identifying their homes as a, quote, nuisance noise property, which city code defines as noises that interfere with enjoyment and comfort of a public and private place and could result in fines and even arrest. Don't know where they got their information from because it's not true. Many 911 complaints about loud music, gunfire, and fireworks put them on that list. Never shot one in my life. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> that has never happened. Patricia is 74 years old, doesn't have a firearm, and hasn't shot any fireworks. Tim Hill, her son. At first I thought maybe there was something she wasn't telling me. Dallas police confirms 680 letters went out days before July 4th. Tim got some clarification when he called into police. They did an algorithm that pulled calls based on the people who had called 911 and the people who had been called on. The residents who called 911 were getting the letters. Christina Bristow is the neighborhood lead and she calls 911 for her neighbors. She feels someone should be held responsible for the mix-up. DPD says the notices were part of a July 4th proactive approach. Quote, we have had reports that some of the notices have been left at unintended locations. We apologize for that confusion. What's an unintended location? A mistake? I mean, how did they get my address? They fear this mix-up could keep neighbors from wanting to call 911 when needed. An effort to stop illegal fireworks just created a whole lot more. In Dallas, I'm Joven Panicker.